even during holidays, we had a good chance to meet new people and like get all qualifications that I needed all. To get qualifications. Okay. What about you, CJ? Oh, I have really, really enjoyed my time being here. I'm enjoying it for that because when I was only outside, I didn't come here. I was always bored in the streets. So I went to the Link Centre and they said to me, there's somewhere for you to go because the tax like, threw me out in the first two weeks. So I didn't have a chance for it and then I came here. Got into that and I just enjoyed it, so I stayed on it. Yes, I've enjoyed coming to meet new people and doing all the outdoor activities. So I have, it's been good. Because I met new friends and meet new people and done more stuff and got better qualifications and I thought I was going to get Like I give you confidence and self esteem like helps you like know where like you want to go after the programme Build our CVs up to get jobs and confidence to do stuff in life Okay And what about you? Well I've built up my good, it's built me up a good CV so it has for me wanting to be a youth worker and it's it's given me a bit more confidence talking to most of the more mostly all the young people because I am a very talkative person but I just need to watch what I need to say sometimes. And okay. I've learned to bite my tongue now. Okay. So now I know what to say and what not to say in a nice formally manner. Okay. I think I have developed a lot of I've kind of surprised myself actually with the things I can achieve and whatever like me get most CMs done. And I realised I have a lot more patience and a lot more determination than I thought of that. I got everything basically that was set out in the programme for me to do and I got it done. It's the first time I've ever actually went through something to the finish. So that that completely Im improved me as a person and all that stuff. It really um, helped me that way and also it was a reason to get out of bed in the morning, to meet new people and to establish relationships with people just in new friendships even friendships with some of the mentors and tutors and whatnot. Well, everything on this, because when I came here, I wasn't like, I was shy, but I don't know, I'm here, just open me up, just give me a new hang. So, good leadership skills, good listening skills, good talking to new people, new groups, new, you know what I mean, Catholic and Protestants, no you know, all that, I got to meet new people like that. Yeah. And I talk to Emma's, but when I didn't come here, I always thought, like, you can't talk to Emma's, there's a barrier against them, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't throw the barrier against people now, you know what I mean? Okay. Helped me build my confidence up to stand in front of people and talk and just talk to people. And whenever I only started, I wouldn't okay. just really confused and stuff by talking to people and what way they would take me. So it helped me build my confidence up. Okay. It made me see what I need to do in life and what I have to be doing. It's let me it's give me more confidence in myself. That I've never had really most more loads of confidence, but I've got loads of confidence now. Coming here that people show you different things and just learn from new things. Definitely, yes. Uh, before Jack would have been in youth works, he would have been very no motivation. Uh, and uh, even trying to get rid of the house sometimes is really difficult. Uh, he would have education wouldn't have been a big thing for him. He left school really early, finished with very little qualifications. But since uh, youth works has started, you can see a really uh, big increase in his motivation. There's no problem getting out of the house. He's up at about nine o'clock in the mornings, and he's got he actually kind of wants to go on to further further education as well. And he's probably going to tech, so it's been very successful. I think just the lowest point was the kind of the personal stuff that went on, which I really want to talk about. So he kind of had personal low points in it, but. They've, they've turned themselves around and they've actually turned into high points because he's learned how to deal with those personal things through youth works. Well. Um, yeah, well, obviously, there's there's things like the confidence. Every young person's different, so with somebody like Curtis, a big outcome is being able to engage with other people. For other people, that's no problem, but they really struggle with English. Yeah. And for others, that's no problem, but they really struggle with group work or they never can't talk to people on a one-to-one. -one. So the only thing about youth works is you can help everybody even though they're, so they're coming from a, everybody's coming from a different starting point. Okay. Youth works has those support networks where you can support everybody. Yeah. Okay. You, you say some people you can clearly see it. Yeah. And other people you have to actually sit down and see the qualifications and yeah. see how far they've come off. Yeah. Well 
essential skills would be a big, big thing because it's something that they want to need in life. Yeah. But the one that won't support it, they've been halfway through it. Youth has been a key okay. to the whole the program. Yeah, okay. For for all of the, I think seven out of the, of the 11 from Youth Works that are here, um, all came the whole way through school and got no qualifications. So it wasn't they disengaged. They went the whole way through school, but they just didn't like that way of learning. Whereas this, Youth Works has given them a chance to do exactly the same qualifications. Yeah. In numeracy and literacy and all these OCNs, it's just done in a different way, and they've proved that it's not that they're, as they would say, it's not that they're stupid, it's not anything like that. It's just it, the, the the learning style yeah. they learn best from is different. Yeah. Hopefully, we've helped them. Yeah. The hands-on approach helps yeah. support. Mm -hmm. um, every young person's come to the program, you know, um, at different stages and stuff, but everybody's come obviously with things that have held them back. Um, and it's been amazing to see the young people actually start to say that, do you know what, I don't have to always be pulled back by these things in life. Um, I, can act, I can actually make a success of myself and, and overcome quite serious challenges, do you know what I mean? There's, you know, nobody comes out of school or nobody, um, you know, struggles to, with their confidence for no reason. Like, there's quite big things that um, the young people have had to face. To, come and attend and uh, make it a success and and the have like you know and saying just be more confident in themselves and um, actually feel like they can deal with these things that are, are holding them back um, and just the motivation and uh, concentration just determination to get things done. Okay. I think the highest point for them coming to youth works is giving like another place that's going to like offer them like education and stuff like another chance because they've been messed about so much in like in, for in formal education so given like the tutors and sets of skills like another chance to you know rebuild that all uh, up for them uh, okay what do you believe has been some of the lowest points in them coming to these works um go back to the highest point sorry because I, I didn't get a chance to sort of add in just um remember that our residential like it was sort of at the start of the program but we'd already had a couple of weeks with each other but it was a, a point where everybody just started to be really honest with each other and themselves about where they were at in their lives and what they wanted to change and um remember sitting down in the the wee house in the residential oh, so centre cool. when we just got there and we only planned we only planned to sit and have a quick introduction and they all started talking about what they were going to do and what they needed to do that and started giving each other help and support and things like that. And that for me was a massive, big high point, you know, to see them really supporting themselves. and um, Realising themselves as well. Yeah, and do, doing that yeah. for themselves. And you can see even in the group now, like, we're chatting about the end of the programme coming up and then talking about what are we going to do without each other and what we challenge for youth and seeing the relationships that you know people have built has been a massive high point I think for me in the programme. Okay, just some of the lowest points then that maybe you've come across with the young people? If any, if you have yeah. any, like if, if there's that, that's fine. Uh, just at times when people are having a crap time, you yeah. know, and str struggling a wee bit and sort of just going, they have enough going on without, you know, without that door, yeah. that, that happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're like it's a big okay. family. Yeah. We are. We are. You just want to go around. You just can go around if you want. Wow. I ain't getting all the kids. We are. Okay. Oh. No. So, so just seeing some of the stuff that people have to deal with this, um, and I wouldn't have been at school if I was dealing with that. Yeah. Okay. Do you want us to start with you? Ah, we mags. Okay. Um. Have you had any other comments just to add? You can all you can all have a discussion and a wee chat. Are we allowed to come back? back. Mm -hmm. You're all right, Maggie. Don't be. Know what I was going to say? The end of the program because I'm. Oh, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah. That's no. been a really low point of the program. The, the fact that you only have six months, so they're coming in and it's all like really, really intense, and then all of a sudden it just stops. Yeah. yeah. Like there doesn't seem to be like a middle. Yeah. It just seems to be like intense throughout, and then yeah. just that like last month, it's just like. Yeah, like it stops or something. It's like a. I think six months doesn't feel long enough. You know, 
um, and a lot of the young people have said, look, we're, we've come, and we were chatting about this this morning, we've come and we've got really good support here. And the, the fact that it's going to be over, it's like, geez, what are we doing? And we've sort of said, look, you can come back, you know, and we'll make time for you on a one-to-one -one basis and stuff, but it just doesn't seem long enough. You know, it's good you get five years or, yeah, um, yeah. you know, if you go to the centre, you get two years or yeah. but six months, just it seems really. You can see the relationship. You can see that there's been like a, a massive family bond. It's like bond. when you're born, it's like born with a dog. You only get a dog. When you're born. <laughs> Cheers, but, yeah. No, but listen, it's when you're born with a dog, and then like if a dog leaves you, you're gonna miss it, or the dog don't get used to someone off. It's like in here when I came here, I just be too close to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So see if I go on the outside, it'll be really nothing to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when I come in here, I express myself from a top to bottom. <laughs> well, just not giving it up is that easy. That's good. <laughs> That's what I like to say. Thanks very much. No problem. I'll try to do what you want. Sorry. You're alright. <laughs> no, you're okay. Um,